we want to solve the equation 631 base x divided by 100 base 2 equals 79 base 10, or as we normally say, 79. Let's first rewrite 1002 in base 10, so we have these two values with the same base. So because 100 has base 2, the digit on the far right would be in the 2 to the 0 or 1's place value, the 0 in the middle would be in the 2 to the 1st or 2's place value, and the 1 on the left would be in the 2 squared or 4's place value. So the number 100 in base 2 in base 10 would be equal to 1 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 1, which is equal to 4. So 1002 is equal to 4 base 10. So let's rewrite the equation as 631 base x divided by 4 base 10 equals 79 base 10. And now let's isolate 631 base x by multiplying both sides by 4 base 10. So we'll multiply the left side by 4 base 10. If we want over 1, we'll multiply the right side by 4 base 10. So notice on the left side, 4 divided by 4, or 4 base 10 divided by 4 base 10 would be equal to 1. So now we have 631 base x on the left. On the right, we have 79 base 10 times 4 base 10, or we normally just say 79 times 4, which is equal to 316. So the right side is now 316 base 10. So notice how to solve for x here. We want to determine what base 631 would have to be in to be equal to 316 base 10. Let's first determine if x, the base of 631, would have to be larger or smaller than 10. We'll notice how we have 361 in base 10, so the leftmost place value is a 3 here, but over here the leftmost place value is 6. So because 6 is larger than 3, this tells us the base of 631 must be less than 10 if these two numbers are going to be equal. Let's try base 6 and see if 631 base 6 would be equal to 316 base 10. So for base 6, the rightmost place value would be 6 to the 0 or the 1's place value. The next place value would be 6 to the 1 or the 6's place value. And the next place value would be the 6 to the 2nd or 36 place value. So if we have 631 base 6 in base 10, we would have 6 times 36 plus 3 times 6 plus 1 times 1. So we have 631 base 6 is equal to 6 times 36 equals 216 plus 3 times 6 is 18. Of course, 1 times 1 is 1. So we've discovered that 361 base 6 is equal to 216 plus 18 plus 1 equals 235 base 10. But we want this to be equal to 316 base 10, which means x equals 6 is not the solution to our equation. And because 316 is more than 235, the base is going to be greater than 6. Let's try base 7. So starting on the right, the place values for base 7 would be 7 to the 0 or the 1s, 7 to the 1st or the 7s, and 7 to the 2nd or the 49th place value. So the number 631 in base 7 would be equal to 6 times 49 plus 3 times 7 plus 1 times 1 in base 10. So we would have 6 times 49, which equals 294, plus 3 times 7 is equal to 21, plus 1 times 1 is 1, and looks like we found it. We just discovered that 361 base 7 is equal to 294 plus 21 plus 1, which is 316 base 10. And therefore our solution is x equals 7. I hope you found this helpful.